Let them titties jump up and down. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Caracore here. We are gonna do another Buff Bunny collection review. This launch is incredible. This is the Dream House collection. Some of you guessed it. And it's launching on May 13th, normal times, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for me in New York. This launch just encompasses my childhood. I grew up obsessed with Barbie dolls, with all things girly. I was also a little bit of tomboy. I was kind of half and half. But this collection just represents kind of going back to our childhood and thinking about when we just had such an imagination, we were creative, our minds just wandered, and we truly just believed anything was possible. I know for myself, there was no self-limiting beliefs. We could be a doctor, we could be a movie star, we could be whatever we wanted when we grew up, and we just had so much belief in ourselves. And as we get older, we lose that imagination. We sometimes lose that confidence. This collection truly encompasses a very girly color palette and just really embracing who we are as women and feeling confident at every stage of our life, regardless of how young or how old you may be. And this message really speaks to me at this point in my life, just remembering that you're never too old for any goal or believing in yourself so you can start today. This sounds like a motivational video, not a review, but we are gonna review the clothing. I have to say, this color palette is so pretty. We have so many pops of color, so if you're not a pop of color girl, this may not be your most favorite collection for that reason, but we do still have some blacks, some charcoal, some ivory, so some more neutral tones in there for you. But we have tons of pops of colors. We have your favorites coming back, things like Miami Vice Pink, H2O Blue, those are some of my favorite from the Under the Sea collection. Then we have some really beautiful new colors, Aqua Dreams, we have Party Purple, just some beautiful tones coming into the summer months to just really feel energetic and girly. I'm gonna do things a little bit different this time. I always do giveaways for any of you who do choose to use my support code. That is just throwing in Kara when you check out and for a good reason. It's gonna save you 10% off, so that's super awesome. It does also earn me a small commission and helps me to continue to grow with the brand and continue to work with them. So I appreciate you all so much when you do take the time and choose to support me. This month, I am gonna be doing a thousand dollar giveaway, but a little bit different. I'm actually gonna just choose one of you, one of you to win one thousand dollars. I know a thousand dollars is a lot of money. It can maybe even change your life a bit or just offer you a little financial relief, whether it's because you've been shopping all the Buff Bunny collection launches using support code Kara or just to give you a little spending cash. Maybe it'll allow you to take that trip you haven't been able to take because you didn't have the extra cash or help you pay down some bills. So just going to choose one of you this month to win the thousand dollars all you have to do is enter in code Kara. all my giveaway details will be posted in addition to that don't worry i have tons of giveaways going on so make sure you are following me over on instagram that's also Kara Corey fit life i will also be hosting a giveaway over there picking two winners and i want to mention too we have tons of colors so color comparisons galore coming your way all of that will be over on my Instagram, or if you're not on Instagram, I do also run a Discord, Buff Bunny Babes. That's the other spot you can check out those color comparisons. Lastly, if you know, you know, where's my Cory crew at? My live launch party is going to be two and a half hours prior to launch going live. So 1130 Eastern Standard Time, we are going to have the full dream house set up. Barbie and Ken may be making an appearance and we're gonna do giveaways every 15 minutes. I will be giving away a $50 gift card for Buff Bunny Collection. I will send that right over in advance. I wanna mention it is for US only because those are the only gift cards I can purchase. So it will be for US and those will be every 15 minutes just for being there, engaging. They are the best time. I am gonna have two full weeks to 
fully review this collection in detail, I'll be able to put it through tons of wear tests in addition to washing multiple times and just continue to get familiar with all these pieces. So sometimes my thoughts change from my initial review first impressions to where things are at come live launch party. So I highly suggest you throw that into your calendar right now and join me, even if it's just to win a gift card, but also I help a ton of you out. I get lots of good feedback on how helpful it is for you with sizing and just winding down your list so that you know what to get the second launch goes live. Additionally, I wanted to do something super special, super exclusive for my Buff Bunny babe. So if you're not already in there, you may want to join the Buff Bunny Discord. I'm going to be filming an exclusive video just for you ladies with this collection that I think is really going to help you out for choosing the pieces that you want to shop. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. We are going to get right into the review now. I am going to be reviewing for you every single piece that is launching in the Dream House collection. In addition, I am getting a smaller package tomorrow with the rest of my pieces. So that will be in this review. You will have that information. I'm just not filming it tonight. And in addition, I'm taking everything through multiple wear tests in terms of performance, taking it through the gym. If you're not familiar with me, if this is your first time here, welcome. Join the YouTube fan, hit that, that bell, subscribe if you like. I will be putting everything through the ringer with my normal training, my normal lifting routine. In addition, I do run, I do take spin classes. So I do multiple different forms of cardio in everything to really give you all a good idea of what each piece is good for when it comes to your performance and what you can expect out of it. One more thing, make sure you check out the description box. I will have all my measurements down there, my normal sizing. I am an extra small athlete across the board for the most part for Buff Bunny Collection. Here and there I wear small, but for the most part I'm extra small. And I will list in the description box each and every piece that I am wearing today with all the information there with time codes. So in the future, if you want to come back to this, you can very easily skip around. And Jason does such a great job editing these videos. I cannot thank him enough. And he always throws up all the color cards and sizes. So if you need, you can screenshot those details to save for later as well. I want to first start out with all the newer pieces that are launching. And while I said this is a very colorful launch, we do have an all black set for you ladies. So let's start with that. This is a brand new set. And we're going to start with a sports bra. This is called the Moonstone Sports Bra. She is a short line sports bra. And when I saw it in the PDF, I didn't know why it was called Moonstone. I couldn't really make out the fine details. And then when I got it in person, I was like, all right, that makes sense now. It actually has crystals all over it. Bedazzled, if you will. Does anyone remember the Bedazzler? I wanted one so bad as a kid. I wanted to bedazzle everything. So this is giving me bedazzled dreams. This short line sports bra reminds me of the Lit Laser sports bra that we just saw in the Kate collection. Short line, definitely more appropriate for my smaller chested ladies. Not saying larger chested ladies, you can't wear this one but she is quite booby. You have this deep V coming down in the front, just making it a bit more chesty. I don't have a ton of cleavage in it, just being a smaller chested gal, but if you are larger chested and you don't mind a little cleavage hanging out, you'll still enjoy this bra. The details are really pretty on this with the rhinestones here, and you do just have a simple triangle section here that's made of mesh. Just adds a little something different there for some contrast. The backside's really pretty too. Just a strappy back here and the Buff Bunny symbol is in silicone branding, which I really enjoy. Just makes it a bit more discreet. This sports bra is in the Elysium fabric, so it is meant for sweat wicking type feel. It's 73 polyester, 27% spandex. So a really nice soft sleek feel if you've never felt Elysium before. With the stones on the front here, this isn't a sports bra I would grab for running, but I will say even still having your arms rub against it, you're not rubbing against the stones. The stones are all on the front portion of you. So it's not anything that's itchy or kind of uncomfortable that you would think having rhinestones on your sports bra. 
It's actually very comfortable. Definitely feels similar to the Lit Laser sports bra. Sizing wise, exactly the same. I wear an extra small in this sports bra and I do find a true to size and it does give me medium support. So if I did want to go out for a run in it, I would have no issues with it. I also am very excited to try this out for some lifestyle fun type looks as well because of how pretty it is. And for any of my Buff Bunny babes, that's my Discord group, I am gonna have a little something exclusive just for you ladies. It's got that little bit of glisten as you move around. I think the light hits it and you can see the crystals. So it's just really pretty and eye-catching, but not too wild in your face as some of the other poppy prints and colors we're gonna get into, Miami Vice bossy print, the fashion print. We have some bolder things here, whereas this is just a little more classy and different. So I really like this for me personally. I love the Lit Laser Sports Bra, so it's no surprise that I love this one as well. The Moonstone leggings, which are the matching leggings that go with it. I'll mention this set is only in black, just so you know. So that is the only option in it. It's so pretty. I really like these leggings. Elysium fabric. So they fit similar to other Elysium leggings you've tried, listed as a moderate medium compression. However, I found them very high compression. I felt that they were maybe a bit more compressive compared to the Rebel leggings that you're gonna see in a bit here. The stomach really snatched me up in the waistband. I felt very tightly snatched in. For that reason, I feel with the leggings, if you're in between sizes, for this, you could definitely size up. I would say definitely size up if in between sizes on these because they are a bit tighter. Even Lit Laser to compare again, I go between an extra small and a small. I've worn both. They both feel good. So up to you and your comfort level of how tight you want that waistband to be. Sometimes what happens with that tighter waistband, if you have a little bit of a lower belly pooch, it can almost emphasize it a bit more. So for you ladies, maybe size up. The simplicity on these leggings is what I love. They're just simple, no seams, but they used those rhinestones to be your seam going all the way down the side of the leggings. They do just have your basic V glue seam over the back with the silicone branding again. No front seam on anything here today. These are a 26 inch inseam. So for me being five foot two, I have a little bit of extra fabric on the bottom. I don't really mind. I'm super used to that. I did get camel toe in these. Being a black legging, not as noticeable, but do want to point it out. I just tend to be more of a camel -y girl. I think I got camel in pretty much everything I tried on here today. So let me just generally throw that announcement out there in case I forget to mention it with one of the pieces. I want to point out too, going to the back side of these, the rhinestones come up and around over the glue. And I did feel that that detail really emphasized the glutes. These leggings, even though they're black, which can kind of camouflage you a bit, they made me feel a little bit curvier. I felt that they enhanced the booty cheeks, the glutes, the peach back there, and looked really pretty. This is not only a great sweat wicking set that you can work out in, but Funny Collection listed this set specific for light impact workouts or low impact workouts. I also feel this set is going to be beautifully styled for going out in lifestyle looks, so I'm very excited to style it for that reason. Also just want to mention those are a legging that if you are someone really self-conscious about cellulite or sheerness, anything like that, you may love Elysium because it does a great job of covering up any cellulite. There's never going to be any sheerness with Elysium and it does snatch you in, as I said. So if you're someone needing something to feel more supportive, if you're someone that has issues with leggings staying up while you're working out, right? The, the girlies that have to always hike up their leggings, I hear that a lot in my DMs. Can you recommend a legging that I won't have to pull up and that won't roll down? The Elysium is always my number one recommendation. The fashion sports bra and the Rebel leggings, the set was probably the set I was most excited for. It was the first set I listed out on my email when I needed to send back my list to the team to tell them what I wanted to receive in my package. This outfit was number one, number two, gotta have it, need it, want it. We have a vinyl pink and a vinyl black. I didn't want to go too matchy matchy. I thought it'd look real cute to do the vinyl pink with the vinyl black on the bottom. So that's what I chose. The vinyl pink 
fashion sports bra. I feel I was a little disappointed or maybe underwhelmed in it, and I'm not sure if I just haven't worn it enough, so I'll definitely update you at the live launch party. Uh, I think the color on camera pops really brightly, but I do have to say it's not as poppy of a pink as Miami Vice. It's not as poppy as some of the other pinks we've seen from Buff Bunny Collection before or the chroma pink we're going to see. It's a bit more dulled down or muted compared to a Miami Vice pink. So I just want to put that out there because I do think it films photographs very poppy. And then when you see it in person, you're like, oh, it's not as hot pink as I thought. So if you're a hot pink lover like myself, I just want to make you aware of that. Number two, I did have to pull the boot pads out of here because it was doing some wonky donk things with my nipples. I didn't like it. I had to pull it out of there. The bra itself feels good. So don't let the word vinyl freak you out. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. These are made with Elysium fabric, but it's printed with this vinyl type look on top. So it's almost more of a matte leathery type look, but still super comfortable, very stretchy. Nothing uncomfortable about that at all. This was a very comfortable sports bra. I just wasn't sure if I was loving how it looked on me. Uh, I love the back of it though. So let's talk about the back of it. It's got just some really pretty strapping detail. It kind of rouges in the back a bit. I found it so beautiful. This is definitely a bra I'd want to wear if I was filming my back workout, doing some pull-ups, you know, working on them lat gains. From the front, I was a little underwhelmed and that could just be my chest size. This bra was listed specific for smaller chested girls, but I honestly think this would look beautiful on larger chested ladies. Maybe it wouldn't be as high support, so I'm really excited and eager to see some of the larger chested athletes who did receive this wear it and hear their feedback on it. I don't know. I don't know why I'm being so picky with this one. I just felt a little bit underwhelmed, so I just wanted to give you my honest first impression of that. I will continue to wear it and perform in it and piece it with maybe other things in my collection that I will like better. Uh, but for me, this one was just okay. And that's it. I, that's okay sometimes, right? Not everything is going to be, oh my God, you have to run out and buy it. And this one just wasn't it for me. I do want to mention, even though I am an athlete with the brand, I am allowed to say my honest thoughts and feelings. The team actually encourages that. They appreciate it. They survey us after each launch. So I am not ever trying to be negative, but I always want to be honest about things that I'm just kind of like, eh, I could live without it or if it underwhelmed me or if I'm obsessed with it. Some launches, I just love everything. Other launches, we have a few things hit and miss. So that's just the reality of it. The Rebel leggings that you're probably familiar with if you've tried them before, the Rebel leggings are one of my favorite leggings ever since they first launched with the Rebel launch. I just can't get enough of them. So I love that they keep bringing them back with different prints or different styles. So this one is the vinyl black I got. I really like these and I'm glad I didn't get them in the pink because I'm not quite sure I'd be brave enough to do vinyl pink pants. But the black is just such a staple piece. These are leggings that are made in the Elysium fabric and they may feel a little bit different just because they are with that vinyl tight material on the outside, even though you're used to rubble leggings, they do feel a little bit stretchier than some of the previous rubble leggings. So I just want to point that out, even though there's no changes with the rubble legging, the style with the vinyl just feels a little bit stretchier and I'm not mad at that whatsoever. The reason I love the rubble leggings, Elysium fabric, so great for performance, sweat wicking, stays in place, doesn't roll. Also very simple details, simple seams, no front seam, absolutely no side seams, which is my favorite. Basic V glue contour. So just a really simple, classy legging you can't go wrong with, will never go out of style. These are a 26 inch inseam, beautiful thing with them, no cellulite, no sheerness coming through. Again, maybe a little bit of a camel toe with these for me, but being black, it's not as aggressive. The reason why I love these, not only for performance, is who can't use a vinyl black pair of leggings in your wardrobe? Come on, you can style these so many different ways for lifestyle looks. These leggings are the type of legging I pack for any kind of trip I'm going to go on. If I know I'm going to have a girl's night out, but I don't want to commit to a full dress or something, 
These are such a great piece that you can style so many different ways to have a fashionable look with your girlfriends or dress it down for more of a lifestyle look. So much you can do with these leggings. So these are definitely a must have piece for me. I personally find the Moonstone leggings more compressive than these Rebel leggings but they still have a nice compression. So if you've only tried Newbury leggings, anything in Elysium is going to give you more compression, meaning they're going to feel a little bit tighter to pull on and they're going to just stay feeling a bit tighter in your stomach area, holding it in a little bit more. They don't create a muffin top or anything like that, but they do just add that layer of compression in the waistline which I prefer, especially for running. I like a little additional compression in my core just to warm it up and feel a bit more supportive. Both vinyl pieces, the bra and the leggings for me, true to size. Oh boy, we gotta talk about the Rosa scallop set. Let's start with the sports bra. This is a variation of the Rosa sports bra, which is one of my favorites, one of Buff Bunny's OG classic sports bras made with Newbury fabric, which is this very buttery, soft, second skin type feel, double brushed fabric. It's a combo of nylon and spandex. One of their most cozy, just comfortable fabrics, most sought after by you as customers. So this is a spin off your favorite Rosa sports bra with the scallop detail on the bottom. So that's really the biggest difference here is the scalloping on the bottom here. I love a Rosa sports bra. She's coming in black as well as Miami Vice. It's just a simple scoop on the front, not too chesty. Rosa sports bra tends to be one of my most recommended sports bras because it works for any chest size and for any activity. She's so super comfortable and also just beautiful, simple detailing with that simple scoop in the front. And on the backside, you do have the double straps that just crisscross over each other. And the addition of the scallop on the bottom doesn't really change anything for me in terms of the fit or the feel. So if you are familiar with the Rosa sports bra, you can size as you normally do. I wore this in an extra small. It's really cute. I actually really enjoyed the scallop detail on the sports bra. And I think this will pair really well with a non-scallop uh, legging, even though you're seeing me pair it with the scallop Rosa leggings. This, I think, will pair beautifully just with a legacy legging or a legacy short. Doesn't have to be the matchy-matchy, so I will definitely be playing around with some of those combos in the next couple weeks. The Rosa scallop leggings. Here's the thing. I got a lot of things to say about these. These are in Newbury fabric. There are no changes compared to your normal Rosa legging. However, the scallop top here, the scallop waistband, what they wrote in the PDF is that it's a bonded tight material, so it feels much thicker and stiffer in effort for it to stay in place and not roll on you. Here's the thing that I need to alert you on. It, it will stretch out the more you wear it and use it, but I had a lot of problems getting into these today. <laughs> I almost had a breakdown. I was just on the floor, barely over my knees with these and I just thought there was no way these were coming up my body and my booty in particular and my belly like there just wasn't much stretch happening but I got assistance from Jason and he helped me out he helped heave ho them over my booty and everything and we got them up and once we got it up it looks real good. <laughs> you just got to get it up first. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the, so the set looked really freaking cute once I got it on. I'm like, damn it. That looks so cute on. I wasn't expecting to even like it. I wasn't really drawn to the scallop so much. It wasn't on my list of items to receive. So I was really surprised with how cute it looked. But the thing that really I have to tell you about is just that these were a nightmare to get over me and knowing myself and the amount of effort I want to put in because I work out in the morning it's very minimal I I can't be doing crazy aerobic type things and heave ho and all over the place to get my leggings on I I don't have that energy at this stage in my life just to look cute so for me I, I don't think I can recommend these to you guys they look so cute on though and I've noticed the more I put them on and off, we did it a couple times. And even as I sit here and stretch, 
I'm actually getting some stretch to them. Whereas when I first took them out, there wasn't any stretch there. So if you're bummed out that this is my review of these, don't be too disappointed. I will update you with a live launch party. I am going to try to keep stretching the crap out of these and see if it gets a little easier for me to get on. Are they true to size? That's the question, right? I still feel that they are true to size. If you size up in these, I don't know that it's going to change the waistband situation that much. And then you're going to have the issue of extra fabric in the stomach and the crotch everywhere else. So for that reason, I still think they're true to size. That's what I'm going to go with. The legging itself is just so beautiful. Rosa leggings are some of my faves as well. Similar silhouette to the Rebel with no side seam, no front seam, normal glute V over them. So very simple detailing just with the scallop, which is really cute. The one thing I will say that I thought about while I was wearing these was that this would be a great pair of pants while I am bloated or while I am maybe having some stomach pain or period cramps and things like that where I want that little bit of extra compression on my tummy and wearing a Rosa legging. This could do the trick for me because it did feel that waistband felt a little more compressive. You're going to see me doing a lot of weird things in these, just trying to show you how they look in a seated position, which isn't super flattering. I don't really love filming it, but I want you to see the reality of how these will look. When we wear leggings, we're not always just standing here at our tallest, at our lengthiest. We're often sitting down, whether it's driving in a car or sitting down doing a spin class or pushing a machine. So I want you to also get the visual of how these look when you sit down. I didn't necessarily have it where it rolled all the way down, but even still, I was getting a tiny bit of rolling. So whether or not that indicates I should size up in these, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll try a size small at another point in time, but everything everywhere else fit perfect. So these ones are a tough one because they are super cute, super cozy, just really freaking hard to get on, man. So figure it out. <laughs> I'll help you figure it out at the live launch party after I try to navigate them and see if I can make them a little bit more pliable with getting them over the big booty. Those are all the brand new items launching that I have so far. I've got some brand new ones coming tomorrow. Like I said, we're going to move into now items you've seen before that are making a comeback. So the first one is the Synergy Sports Bra. This one came out with the Sugar Rush collection. They did make a couple changes to it, but this one is in the new color Aqua Dreams. I love this color so much. I really love it because it reminds me of Malibu since I was just in Malibu not that long ago. So it's bringing me back to those California vibes, Malibu Barbie type vibes. It's just really pretty. So if you never tried this sports bra before, it's a seamless type feel. It's so stretchy. It's, I think, very flattering too on the chest. And I think for all chest sizes, this one did have some changes made to it from the Sugar Rush collection. So what they did is they reduced the gap in the backside for more coverage and they updated the fabric quality to space dye. So just minor changes here, minor changes here, and you will see a comparison of me wearing the one I got from the Sugar Rush collection. I would say you probably won't see a huge difference. I can see the little bit of uh, change in the back strap details and the fabric is a little bit different looking, but for the most part, sizing wise is the exact same for me, so nothing crazy change there where you need to size differently. I wore an extra small in both sports bras. This is just such a comfortable sports bra. I honestly think Candy Wrap sports bra just overshadowed other sports bras in that collection, whereas this one really is so comfortable and so cozy. I like that we just have more of a solid base now versus the ombre because the ombre look doesn't necessarily go with everything, whereas these having more solid tones go with so many more pieces. This one is listed as a light support sports bra, but if you're small chested like myself, let them titties jump up and down. They're not going anywhere. So I could absolutely wear this for running for anything. Quite honestly, it's just so comfortable. What I like about it is it's also a sports bra that I would grab just to lounge in 
which I do a lot lately. At nighttime, I don't want to wear a bra or even on the weekends, I don't want to wear a bra. So I'm reaching for my favorite Buff Bunny Collection sports bra that's cozy that I can wear all day long that doesn't cause any tightness or aches or pains. And this is one of those bras you can wear 24 hours. You could sleep in it. She's going to feel great. The backside has that cute knot detailing and it's just really pretty and comfortable. I think this is a sports bra many of you would love regardless of chest size. And you have some beautiful color options in this as well. There is just some light detailing on the front here, which I really like because it almost just scoops around the boobs here. And I think it just enhances the look of them. It just, it shapes things very nicely, if you will. So it doesn't just look like one big uniboob. It kind of accentuates that you have two individual boobs and they should each be acknowledged, even if one is bigger than the other, okay? And that's normal, ladies. Drives me nuts. But man, if my left one could be like my right one, I'd be so much happier, but it's normal. Additionally, with the Synergy Sports Bra, maybe becoming one of my favorites out of this entire launch, we have it in this gorgeous color, after hours purple. So we have party purple and then we have after hours purple, which is so beautiful. I'm really excited about all the purples in this collection. I think this will just pair beautifully, even with the Aqua Dreams, quite honestly. You can mix and match her with many different things, but this is just a really stunning color. Another Sugar Rush collection return item I am stoked about are the Lifesaver shorts. These are making a comeback and I'm wearing them in Aqua Dream. So you can see just different fabrics. There is a little bit of a slight color change. They do a great job across different fabrics, trying to make sure everything looks as comparable as possible. When you're working with different fabrics, things are gonna look a little different, but they still pair beautifully together. That's why I wanted to show these together. The Lifesaver shorts are something I would say I probably wore the most out of any of my Buff Money collection pieces last summer. They were my go-to short that I would grab for just everyday life or for activities. So I'm so happy they're coming back in multiple colors, an item I will definitely be buying more of. So the changes to these Lifesaver shorts, if you did try them before, they did update them to be more true to size and then also shorten the drawstring, which I didn't really notice that the drawstring needed to be shortened. You will see me do a comparison of trying on the older pair compared to the new pair. I think visually looking at them, I don't see major changes, but in terms of them making them more true to size, I can tell in the waistband, they're more fitted on me. Whereas the last version, they fit me, but they weren't too tight in the waistband. These definitely felt a bit tighter in the waistband, and they also felt tighter in the underliner short that you have under here. Would I size any differently on them with the changes? Nope, I wouldn't I still find them to be true to size for me personally. They both fit fine on me. They fit a little different, but that's okay. I wouldn't go and size up. If you're not familiar with these shorts, they are my favorite. They have this flowy shell on the outside. It's just a really smooth, comfortable shell. The fabric is a polyester spandex combo, and it's just very like flowy and kind of just moves around. And then you have the tighter liner underneath. This is a very tight liner. It does kind of bust my thighs out a bit, if I'm being honest, but whatever, they're covered for the most part. Uh, it's a very short inseam on these on the extra small. It's just a little over an inch of fabric there. And then the shell that falls over it, it pretty much hits right at the same length as that underliner. So from the side, you can see the short, which I like. I think that's cute that you can see the short. If it was windy, yeah, the side of the short could blow up or something, but um, not a big deal. The one thing with these shorts, they do not have pockets. I really don't think they could put pockets on these the way they are styled. The flow shorts have pockets if that's what you prefer. As mentioned, we do have a drawstring here so you can tighten it as you need to. On your underliner short, you do have a pocket in there though. So it is handy. You've got a nice big pocket in there. It wouldn't fit my cell phone, but if I needed to throw my keys in there, or a credit card and go for a bike ride, I could certainly do that and it'd be nice and locked in there. It's a nice tight pocket. I would just find these shorts so flattering. 
I love the colors that they came out with for the summertime. Probably the biggest question I get with these shorts is, does the liner ride up during activities? During running especially, I will say yes. The liner does ride up, but it's a short liner anyways that kind of just barely sits below my crotch. So it rolls up a little bit and then it just stays there. So for me, with those types of shorts, I let the liner roll up a bit and I don't fuss with it. If I start fussing with it, it kind of throws off the flow of my workout. For me, the liner underneath doesn't bother me. I like it. I think it looks really cute. These are, are just a go-to short for me when I'm packing trips where I'm going somewhere warm. They just, they're super cute. I love them. They're my favorite. Probably going to be grabbing every color. I find them true to size. However, with the changes in the sizing, I think in relation to my body size, my waist is a normal size. So the fact that these do feel a little bit tighter in the waist, if you're someone that has a bigger waistline and doesn't want to feel too sucked and squeezed in, you maybe do want to size up on these. It probably will give you a little extra length here, but it just depends on you. Do you prefer more room in the waistband or... Do you not want them to be too oversized down here? The BBL shorts just launched with the Kate collection and they are coming back in this collection in a bunch of different colors. I'm pretty excited about these shorts. They are super comfortable, but I do want to break them down a bit because I didn't review them in my last review video. If you tried the BBL seamless leggings, but not the shorts, it's a very similar fit. It's the same fit in terms of that waistband being pretty tight it snatches you in quite a bit you also have the option to to roll it down where it says buff bunny and wear it more low rise but i am i am not about that life i am a high rise girl at least with my active wear i don't plan on changing that anytime soon these shorts are really comfortable the seamless line the bbl line in general is just chef's kiss they did a fantastic job with it the color is really beautiful in the Aqua Dreams. They are listed as a four inch inseam. So that's the one thing I do want to mention. They are a four inch inseam. You can pull them down and they look like a four inch inseam. But what happens as you start moving around, at least for me, and I think a lot of the other girls agreed with this too, you do tend to get a lot of rolling on these shorts. So after I move around a bit, they do creep up and almost end up looking like a one or two inch inseam. Some people, four inches is already too short and doesn't make you feel comfortable. These will creep up to more of a two inch inseam, similar to the demi short, I feel is more comparable with where they sit on my thighs. They're not super duper squeezy. I feel that they just kind of lay in place on me, but they do mostly creep up. So I feel that saying a four inch inseam is a little deceptive. It's it's more like a two inch once they creep up. They do make the booty look nice. They do have that little line that's supposed to enhance the glute. For me to really pull that under my butt cheek, I don't know if it's just the shape of my glutes or how long my butt is. Do I have a long ass? Y'all let me know if I have a long ass, all right? But to actually put that glute line under my butt cheeks, I'm definitely, my full thigh is hanging out there right under my booty. I do understand some girls enjoy that or a lot. I've seen a lot of girls who just totally, they, they pull the shorts right up in there. It's not my vibe. It's not my vibe. I, I do prefer them pulled down if I can handle it. But I have ran in these shorts. They ride up a bit and I just leave them there and I don't care that my thighs are jiggling around. It's fine by me. So just be warned on that. Great pair of shorts, super comfortable. The seamless is nice. The seamless is probably the one material that I find I have to wear a thong underneath and not for camel toe purposes, but due to shearing with squatting and stuff, regardless of the color, well, not the charcoal, but the other lighter colors, I have found I do need to wear a nude thong. If you're new here, I tend to not wear underwear at all with any of my active wear. It's just how I roll. But that is the one uh, material that I do prefer to wear a thong with, just to be safe, so none of my bits are showing. These shorts are super cute. They are a go-to for me, especially for bike rides or spinning classes. 
training even not my go-to for running for the reasons i just spoke about but they are a great short very comfortable i would say they are true to size but if you're in between sizes you could definitely size up on these i think for me i'm an extra small but a size small i would probably really enjoy too so that i didn't have as much compression on the stomach and maybe a little bit more length on the shorts themselves so up to you i could go either way on these shorts Ladies, we have more purple. It took forever to get purple and now they're hitting us with all the purples. So excited. I had to have this and I love it. It's called Party Purple. What's that song that they go party people? There's probably like 20 songs that say that, but every time I want to go party purple, I can't help it. I just, I get so hyped on this color. It is beautiful. Again, color comparisons will all be over on my Instagram story, so don't you worry. We have the reversible sports bra coming back and I've grown to love the reversible sports bra. You have a bunch of fun color options this time. So I went with the party purple, obviously, that also has the black underneath. This is this was my favorite out of all of them, but I may grab a couple more because I've been wanting to wear these bras more and more. This is the one Buff Bunny bra that does not have any boob pads in there. So it is a bit more thin for me if you know i can get a little hard i can get a little titty hard on it doesn't even matter if it's cold in the room we just you know the nips they get a little hard i don't mind if you're looking at them whatevs i'm secure in my nips okay this color is beautiful the fabric is a newbury fabric so it's lightweight it's not a high support bra so it's more of a low impact it's a yoga day it's not jumping around bouncing around especially if you're larger chested than me for me being smaller chested i could kind of get away with it i could definitely go for a run in this bra Shit, i could probably go for a run without a sports bra on all right it's probably not going to change what's happening right here all too much but for me this is something i do prefer for a lower impact day or lounging around the house where I want to look cute and just throw on a cozy sports bra with a pair of sweatpants. She is my vibe. The strap on this, it does move, so you'll see me playing around with that a bit. I know some of the girls have used it to kind of throw one strap over their head. I get a little scared that I'm going to rip it. I think I tried that on with the courtside collection. I was a little freaked I was going to rip it, but it does look cute. You can take it and kind of do that one strap over the head, so it does give you that versatility there and it also looks really cute flipped onto the backside. so please pause the video go down in the comments below and tell me which way you like this outfit styled better with the black on the outside or with the party purple let me know below that is what's great about this sports bra though for the price you are getting a two-in-one situation and if you needed more support or you didn't feel comfortable with tho poking through you could always throw some petals in there or slap in some of your own boob pads i find this bra true to size honestly i maybe could even size down to a double extra small i don't need to but it does run more that side of the sizing scale each and every launch we get we get one more color in our six inch shorts ladies so we have the six inch shorts coming back in three different colors I got them in the party purple. These are your legacy six inch shorts. So for me, I really enjoy the six inch shorts because if you are someone where the Lifesaver shorts and the BBL shorts, it's a no for you because of them creeping up and just showing too much of your legs and you wanna feel confident and you wanna feel your best and not have that negative self-talk in your head, have a pair of six inch shorts on hand these look good on anybody on everybody will make you feel confident they stay in place the length of these is six inches is perfect where you don't have to worry about them riding up whatsoever they are a no front seam we have a side seam but it's very minimal and then the legacy is where we have that tri seam or butterfly detail on the back side there. So they're really pretty, really flattering. For me, I do have shorter legs comparative to my upper body. I kind of have a longer torso for being a shorter girl and then like really squatty legs. So sometimes for me, a longer inseam on the short can make me look a little squattier, but I need to have shorts that I feel really comfortable in for running and for cycling and to eliminate some of the chafing or the chub rub, if you will. So these are just go-to for me. I will be grabbing the other colors. I need to start 
really beefing up my six inch short wardrobe here. And while we're on the party purple, I just have to say, definitely you need party purple in your life. So don't sleep on this. The purples have been such a hit, such a highly requested color that if I had to guess right now without even knowing anyone else's input on this launch, I would just venture to take a guess that party purple will be a color that sells out in anything it's offered in. So do with that what you want. Rainforest Crops are making a comeback. I already had one on hand, but it is launching in this color. So I have it in the color ivory. It's also coming in the color black. The Rainforest Crops are made with the Nimbus fabric. So this is the first time we're seeing Nimbus in this launch. And the Nimbus fabric's really nice and breathable. It's lightweight. It's got a little bounce, a little flow to it. It's great to work out in, but it's also a shirt that you can wear to lifestyle in as well. I really thought the ivory looked quite nice with the party purple. Uh, I don't know what y'all think, but I thought that was a great color combo. I do like this top for a number of reasons. It is a top that actually allows us to have our armpits covered. We have a t-shirt vibe going on and the sleeves in this shirt are not super tight. They will not sausage you or suffocate you. They just, they're nice and loose and flowy, which is what I like. And it's a crop shirt, but you don't really see a ton of your stomach. If you're wearing a high-waisted legging with them, you're not really gonna show much belly. So this is another one of those pieces that I feel is meant for every body and will make you feel confident. The neckline is just like a basic little scoop neckline here. And then on the back side, it does have a really pretty detail with the cutout and it kind of crisscrosses there down on the bottom. I have seen some girls uh, reverse this and wear it the other way. Just not my personal preference, but that is an option for you to do that as well. But I like how it cuts up on the backside because it then draws your attention to your glutes and shows off if you are wearing a legacy short or a legacy legging. It shows off the booty and the beautiful seam detailing back there. Um, you can also crop this shirt up more if you like. Sometimes I wear it. You'll see me later in the video where I tuck it up into my sports bra and make it more of a crop. So you can play around with it. But this is just a great staple top to have in your collection that you can wear all year round. You can wear it for workouts or you can wear it for lifestyle. The Nimbus as well is very breathable. If you're thinking you don't want fabric in your armpits because you're a sweaty gal like myself, this isn't a shirt that gets super sweaty. The Nimbus is pretty good at sweat wicking and limiting the amount of sweat so you don't have soaking wet armpits down to your waist. I've been there, it's not a good feeling. I can't believe I waited this late in the review to throw on these shorts, but they are technically not a new short. We have the legacy four inch short but the moment here is the print. So this is the fashion print. Not to be confused with the fashion sports bra we spoke about earlier, but this is our print of the collection. We also have Miami Vice Bossy. I did not receive any of that, but I will have Jason throw up a picture of that at the end of the review. I had to have the fashion print. I knew in my mind if I could have one or the other, I needed to have the fashion print because I have all the other Bossy prints. I do wear them, but not as much as I would think I would wear bossy. Sometimes it plays with my eyes a bit. This print is a combination of different pinks and different blues in here. You have some H2O blue. You definitely have Miami Vice pink. I think you have another pink that's listed on. Looking at the color chart, it kind of looks like a combination of Miami Vice pink either Malibu pink or plastic pink. I'm not sure. One of the pinks is in there. We have H2O blue. I don't know. It's one of those prints that you have a lot of different colors, so you can mix and match within this collection. I don't have an H2O blue sports bra, but that would look so good with this. Really good. Anyways, I wore this with the vinyl pink sports bra just to show you how the vinyl pink looks against these pinks. Is anyone else getting Lisa Frank vibes? I immediately got Lisa Frank vibes when I saw this and I opened it up. I don't know about y'all, but I was such a Lisa Frank obsessed girl growing up. It was expensive. If I was lucky, my mom would let me pick one Lisa Frank folder for school. And I had to think really long and hard about what subject was going to get that Lisa Frank folder because 
it was important. I mean, that was the one where you had to show off. It was a big deal. So I love that because it brings me back to my childhood, not only with the Barbie dream house, but pulling in just kind of those splashes of poppy colors reminds me of Lisa Frank. These are definitely a bold choice. So maybe the fashion print won't be for you and that's okay. The Legacy Shorts are launching in a ton of different colors for the four inch. I want to say they're in eight different color options. So don't fear if this is just too much for you. For me personally, I love hot pinks and I love the H2O blue. So this is a co color combo just meant for me. I love that they chose the hot pink color to do the seam work on the shorts. So just the same exact short we talked about with the six inches, Newbury fabric. I didn't get any sheerness with them. You'll notice it is the white fabric on the inside, but even with my squat test, nothing was showing through. These and the party purple six inch, no sheerness, didn't have any cellulite either. So you are good to go. The Newbury fabric, even though it is that softer fabric, really does a great job, especially with a print. A print will cover up quite a bit. So if you are someone trying to hide cellulite and things like that, you may want to go with a print. A little bit louder, yes, but we'll cover that up for you. I believe the only other option for the fashion print is in the reversible sports bra. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on the fashion print. I, I'm not sure yet if it's going to be a must-have by a lot of people or if people are going to find it too loud. For me, it's a must-have. Yes, I'm obsessed. So I am going to grab the reversible bra on this too. As a reminder, using code Kara on launch day or anytime you choose to shop the brand really does support me. It means the world to my family and I from Jason to Bruce Wayne and Joey Justice. We all really appreciate it. And it does help me to continue to grow with the brand and do more and more with these reviews just to make them that much more special for you. So just a reminder, code Kara will not only support me, but it does also give you that 10% off when you Shop. Another brand new legging we have here uh, launching this collection are called the Snatched Leggings. These are coming in the charcoal color. This is the only color they're launching in. And these are very similar to the BBL Seamless Leggings. If you did happen to try those, they are made of the same fabric, which is a polyester nylon spandex combo. So very stretchy, seamless type feel just truly ultimate comfort with these leggings. So when I tried them on, very much the entire fit and feel was nearly identical to the BBL Seamless. So true to size for me personally. Your biggest difference is the waistband, of course. So the waistband on this, the difference here is it is a cross waistband. So it gives you more of that little snatched appearance. Comes up, I'd say, maybe a little bit higher on the waist, but with that cross band, can give you more of that little tiny snatch tummy look. With the cross waistband, the concern is always, am I worrying about adjusting it? Am I always having to fix it? Am I, is it moving down? Is it rolling down? I do feel with wearing it for training or just walking around, whatever you may be doing, it does stay in place pretty good. I didn't find myself having to pull them up whatsoever. I didn't find myself having to adjust that crossed waistband like you may be We'll see with the Monarch leggings or the Siren with that Newbury fabric. I think that maybe just moves around a little bit more. Whereas the seamless material, it does just lay in place and, and pretty much stays there. So those were really nice for me. Uh, the backside of them is really simple. No side seams here, no front seams. Uh, the back seam here is just your basic little V glue contour. And these leggings for the BBL Seamless and the Snatched are a 24 inch inseam, whereas a lot of other Buff Money leggings are a 26 inch inseam. I don't personally notice a huge difference with that two inches, but I do have a little less fabric on the bottom of them, being that I am shorter, sometimes I get a little more fabric. Other than that, there's really no other crazy differences to point out. It's just BBL Seamless or Snatched. Do you prefer the cross waistband or not? The other thing that's not here too that is on the BBL Seamless, the BBL Seamless have the little glute uh, contour here. These don't, these just are very basic V over the glutes. That's it. So they're a really nice, comfortable legging. If you want the cross waistband and you enjoy a cross waistband, I think you will really like these.
The other great thing too, I'll mention with this material, it is great for covering up cellulite. This color being that dark charcoal color does not sheer out for me as did some of the other lighter colors in the seamless material. So no concerns here. I can go commando with nothing shearing out. My goodies are not on display. Also with a seamless material that's really nice, if you've worn the Elysium, that to me is one of the most compressive leggings. The seamless isn't that compressive, but it's more compressive than Nubri. So it's middle of the road, gives you some compression, but still leaves you feeling really comfortable but snatched in so this is a great legging to try out if you're looking for something to feel more confident in but also comfortable this is a good starter pair of leggings and just showing them next to the bbl seamless i will have more pictures up on my instagram stories and on my discord group to share with you some of the measurement differences and really up close comparables but really there's not a huge difference in these leggings so if you already have the BBL seamless and charcoal, you know, if you really want the cross waistband, then definitely grab a pair, but they're, they're very, very similar in style and fit. We also have a shorts version of those called the snatched shorts, which are similar to BBL in terms of the fit. I really like the cross waistband. I, I was nervous being that it was a short version that maybe the waistband would be problematic and cause me some issues with rolling down or folding over when I sit down. But these stayed in place really nice as well. So I think the seamless helps that cross waistband stay in place. They are listed as a four inch inseam, but very similar to BBL seamless shorts. They do have a tendency to slide up and not only slide up, you can't see it in the footage, I am wearing them right now, but they, they not only slide up, but they kind of roll up. So they'll just roll themselves right up. I, I don't know if it's because it's a slippery material. I think maybe they need a little bit of, I don't know if some grip tape kind of stuff in there would help keep them stickied in place, but very similar to BBL shorts, they do roll up on me. So something to be considerate of. For me, the fit is true to size, but I've had a lot of you ask this with the BBL shorts. So for the snatch shorts and the BBL, same applies here. They are true to size. Can you size up? Yes. If you're in between sizes and you just don't want to have any sausaging, I definitely would say size up on both your snatched and the BBL just to make it easier on yourself. I don't think there's a wrong move here with seamless. That is the beauty of it in this material. It's a very forgiving. It will move with your body. It'll flex with your body. It just depends how you prefer your shorts. Some girls like them nice and tight. Some would prefer a little extra room. I know for me, sometimes I would just rather avoid any sausaging. Now sizing up, do I think that's going to prevent them from still rolling up on you? Not necessarily, I just think the way this material is, you are gonna find that they do sneak and creep up on you and roll up rather easily. I mentioned that just because they are listed as a four inch inseam, but with them rolling up, I do find they tend to be closer to a one to two inch inseam. For me, I usually just let them roll up versus as you keep seeing me do pulling them down. I don't really like being bothered with that. So if they roll up on me, I just leave them there and I roll with it. These shorts are also only coming in the color charcoal, similar to the leggings, simple details here, no side seams, no front seams. And on the back, it's just that little bit of a V seam going over the glutes, no other contour back there. So a little bit more of a simpler design in terms of seams. You don't have like in the BBL where you can flip it down and show the buff bunny. That is not an option in these shorts. So just a couple minor differences. I really like these shorts. These are a short that I will probably not wear for running due to the rolling up, but something I will wear in the summer months, training, walking around, the rolling up. It's not a deal breaker for me, but I know it definitely is for some of you. So if that's the case, maybe stick with your six inch legacy that's coming up or the lifesaver shorts, things like that. I'm just gonna throw this on while we talk about it because I can't believe I have been sleeping on the Spice crop jackets. These launched a long time ago originally with the swim collection. So I have my OG one from the swim collection, but I knew they had changed them and I didn't get set one and I didn't end up buying one because I just, 
I didn't, but I'm so glad I got one with this package because they really have upgraded them since the original version in terms of how they fit and feel. The jersey mesh is just so comfortable on it. It's a, a nylon spandex fabric if you're not familiar with it or haven't tried it before. So even though it's mesh, it's got this really nice stretch to it. It's really stretchy and flexible. They also added thumb holes to the bottom of these and it is a zipper down, zip up, zip down, really cute with your little hood on the back. This is just one of those pieces that isn't meant to keep you warm on a chilly day. Nah, but it is a great layering piece, a little cover up just to get you going into the gym, get you started with your workout until you warm up. And also just a great piece to throw on if you're finishing your workout and maybe heading out the door, gonna go grab some coffee or run some errands. It gives you a little light layering piece so that you're not walking around in your sports bra. These are only coming in white and black. I do wish they came out with some of the beautiful poppy colors that we have in this collection, some of the purples or blues, things like that, but they did just stick to the neutral tones here, so white and black, but that does allow it some versatility so that these pieces can be paired with truly anything in your collection, so not necessarily from this launch. You can pair white and black with anything in your collection. So this does make it just a really great little piece. One of the few, actually the only long sleeve piece we have launching this collection. We don't have as many tops. It's a little bit more heavy in the short sports bras and leggings. So if you're looking for a cover up, this is going to be it for you for this collection, this or the rainforest crop. This mesh, I do have to say, is really breathable too. So I like that because sometimes I do actually just enjoy working out with a long sleeve on. I don't know. It just depends on my mood. I'm very moody. <laughs> but if I do want to work out in a long sleeve, it's nice to have something like that as an option because the mesh makes it super breathable. So if you just want to be covered up because, I don't know, you don't want your arms on display or maybe your armpits are hairy, whatever the reason may be, that does allow you to have a long sleeve on but have that breathability so you can still stay nice and cool during your workout. We also have more BBL seamless items coming back. We have the BBL seamless reversible sports bra. I love this sports bra. So for me, the way I'm wearing it here, that is my favorite way to wear it, which it's great because you can move the boot pads around. I remember a couple girls didn't realize that, but you can pull the boot pads out and put them to whichever side you like. This color is not launching, by the way. This is from the last collection, but the V on it, this is the bra that gives me a little titty moment. It's a titty moment, but it's also very supported. And I just love seamless fabrics. I mean, come on, they're so comfortable. This new seamless fabric they did as well. It's not itchy like past seamless fabrics were that I know some people complained about. So if you want to try out some of the new colors, grab yourself a bra. The backside, this seems to be the favorite for my larger chested ladies. So you may love it this way. Personally, it does nothing for me on the front side. So you will forever see me wearing it this way. And it's just so flattering. It's so comfortable. It's sweat wicking. I can wear it running too, even though for me with that deep V in the, in the front is still everything stays in place great. So you've got a few new colors to choose from with that. I did get sent one of the new colors in the reversible sports bra, so I also threw this on for you. This is listed as the color acai purple, but it actually it looks a bit more like the frosted purple from the Kate collection. So it's more of a pastel muted purple, really pretty. This is a tone that mixes and matches really well with a lot of different colors. As I mentioned, I much prefer wearing it the V side and those boot pads do move around so you can slide them around. But just to show you versatility, I did try it on the other way, which is usually how my larger chested friends like to wear this one. With the keyhole detail down on the bottom, you can get a little bit of lower booby cleavage showing. For me, not a ton, but if you are larger chested, you may get a little bit more spillage down there than someone like myself. But this is just a great sports bra. The seamless stuff, the Synergy, the BBL Reversible, these are just such comfortable sports bras. These are the sports bras out of this collection that I can, I can truly wear all hours of the day 24-7 and I don't get any pain or any itching. I kind of forget I'm wearing a sports bra. We also have the BBL Seamless Leggings coming back. 
I believe just in one colorway, the acai purple, which you'll see here in this video as well, a little bit more of a frosted purple color. I'm trying them on for you in the charcoal color from the last collection. Love these leggings, huge, huge fan, so comfortable really does snatch the waistline in, makes the booty look great too, especially if you really dig that seam up into your butt crack, if that's your vibe. Some days it's not my vibe, but it does really make your legs look nice. And they're just great. They're comfortable. They're great for any workout. So you have those as well. Legacy leggings have to be in this launch because they are a customer favorite. I did not receive a new pair of them within this collection, but in the event that you are someone new shopping the brand, I wanted to make sure I included a review of them. So you're seeing me wear a pair. This is the wrong season for them, but the Vineyard Red, I just, I like a good dark red, the Vineyard Red color. So the Legacy Leggings, very similar to the two pairs of shorts that you saw with no front seam, a 26 inch inseam. The major difference here, if you've never worn or seen these before, on the side seam, it kind of comes down and it splits into two seams below the knee. So you have a little more seam there on the side. And then on the back side, you do have the butterfly uh, tri seam going over the glutes. A lot of ladies love the legacy leggings because with the extra seams there, they tend to stay in place really nicely. I do find they fit true to size. I wear an extra small in all the legacy leggings. So you have a bunch of fun colors to choose from for the legacy leggings in this collection. Also just want to mention while I tried those on, I was wearing the Rainforest crop top and that's where I just tucked it in under my sports bra just to show you a different look for that top. Some girls don't want their whole stomach covered. You want to show your little itty bitty waistline. That also looks really cute though to have this relaxed top up here, but then tuck it in under your sports bra. I just, I love that look. So I just wanted to mention that for the Rainforest crop to show you that other styling. We do have one game changer backpack coming this collection and I had to have it. This is in the color Chroma Pink. This book bag with my outfit, I feel like a freaking Malibu Barbie. I am obsessed. Now I already have like six game changer bags five game changer backpacks and two duffel bags but i had to have this book bag i had to i could not pass up this hot pink color i i just had a feeling this was going to sell out and it, it needed to be one of my must-have pieces this is going to be my summer book bag i want to go through the highlights of this bag if you've never used it before or haven't seen me review it this is my go-to bag for travel it is my carry-on bag. My duffel bag I use more so for the gym and weekend trips, but when I'm traveling, getting on a plane, need my carry-on. It's not a carry-on, it's basically your purse. It fits right under the seat in front of you, and it has so many different storage options for you. This is just my, my go-to bag. So you have options in the front here for your meal compartment. You don't have to use this. It will fit like two Tupperwares in there depending on what size you have. I tend to put my snacks in there. You can put an ice pack down there. You can travel with an ice pack, ladies. On the side of the bag, you do have a zipper component for the pouch. And then you also have a spot here that you can just stick your hand in if you need something easy access. Sometimes I throw my cell phone in there, but I also don't trust people. So I usually kind of tuck it in somewhere else but you have one of those pockets on each side of the game changer bag before we go on the inside you do have the laptop compartment which this has a hot pink zipper too i love it there's extra padding in there so i've never had any issues with my laptop throwing this bag around she's still in mint condition the metal detailing on this bag is silver by the way going on the inside of the book bag i do have my bomber coat in here you have a drink pouch on the inside of the game changer bag it will fit your shaker cup oh my gosh it matches my go shaker cup so cute so just to show you it does fit a full blender bottle style shaker cup that can go in there and travel with you as well. Then you've got a mesh easy access pouch here and then a mesh one below it with a zipper component too. And if you don't choose to use your meal compartment section, you can move that layer over and it gives you more space within the book bag. I can fit so much in here. When I was traveling home from LA, the lady tried charging me $100 for my luggage being a pound over. She didn't even say anything to me. That'll be $100, please. 
I'm like, bitch, what? What did you just say to me? No, I can pull a pair of jeans out and that shit will lighten up. So I pulled out, I want to say like two hoodies, a pair of jeans, and I already had my game changer bag like filled up, but I was able to cram them in there without a problem, throw it on my back, still fit in the plane just fine, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So it's just the perfect travel bag. Chroma pink maybe isn't your color. It was for me. The game changer backpacks are just so awesome. So let me know if you have any other questions on those. In addition to the game changer backpack, you are getting a whole host of different colored scrunchies that will be in the new brief fabric. So those are also coming. The only item I didn't receive, but you did see me try on actually, is the Revolution sports bra that is launching in white as well as Miami bossy print. The Revolution Sports Bra in Miami Bossy print is definitely on my must-have list. I had a older Miami Vice Revolution Sports Bra that I did try on with the BBL shorts, actually, just to show you the color comparison of how those two look together. And then also so you could see what the Revolution Sports Bra looks like on me. That's just one of my favorite sports bras ever, the Revolution, the Alpha, the Rosa. Classics, can't go wrong with them true to size in those sports bras. They're about a medium support, so that's another great sports bra. You do just have those two color options in that sports bra. Wow, so that that is everything from this launch. This one surprised me a bit. I loved the colors the most. The colors to me stand out the most from this collection. I would like to see more pieces in some of these colors. If I had to choose my top picks for you, okay, let me let me do this, my top picks. So for me, what I'm gonna go grab, I'm definitely gonna want a Miami Vice Bossy Print Revolution sports bra. I don't like to do matchy-matchy with Bossy Print top and bottom. It's just, oh, it's too loud. Uh, so the Revolution sports bra I'm gonna grab. For me, the Synergy sports bra was really a winner out of this launch. It's so comfortable. I think it's so beautiful. I'm probably torn between this one or the BBL reversible sports bra, honestly. So if you want the reversible one so you could wear it both ways, or if you want a little bit more of a V cleavage moment, that one might be your go-to. I just, I really, I really love the detail they made on this Synergy sports bra, so I'll probably grab more of these. The Lifesaver shorts for me are a top pack. I'm obsessed with them. Those will be shorts that I'm probably going to grab in every single color that they have available. Just a, a short meant for the summertime that I will be living in. I will also probably be grabbing a couple other pairs of six inch shorts. So for me, I'd have to say those are probably my top picks. I do love the fashion print in the legacy shorts. So that's your vibe. Also the chroma pink book bag another top pick for me. If I had to recommend one legging from this launch, if you've never worn anything Newbery, the Legacy offers you some really great color choices. I don't know, this collection for me was more about the shorts than the leggings, which is weird for me because I do tend to wear more leggings than anything else. But if I had to say choose one legging out of this full collection, it would either be the a pair of legacy leggings if you've never tried those because the color selection is just beautiful or the vinyl black rebel legging because i feel that that legging will just allow you so much variation within your wardrobe to wear it for workouts or also for lifestyle and things like that so just more bang for your buck now that we've reviewed everything i did want to take a quick minute to talk about wash instructions on these pieces because i do forget to do that with each and every piece so in general buff bunny collection pieces are recommended to be cold washed only and hung dry in effort to just maintain the quality of it now, in particular with this launch, as evidenced by the scrunchies, we have tons of bright colors that are launching. You wouldn't want to just take your tiki yellow and throw it in the wash with your H2O blue. So you got to use a little common sense here with washing to play it safe on some of these colors, the hot pinks, the blues, the purples, the yellows. I personally would wash them by themselves. I know it creates more wash, but just to be safe, so that you don't have colors leaking onto each other, that is what I'm gonna recommend, at least for that first wash. I need to alert you to one set that is listed 
wah wah is hand wash only and that is the moonstone bra and leggings i'm not surprised there due to the rhinestone beading that's on there i can see where hand wash would be ideal in that scenario i am going to based on your recommendations from my live unboxing i'm going to inside out mine throw it in a delicate bag and just do a delicate cycle by itself and I will update you how that works out if any of the beading looks like it's starting to fall off or lose its integrity. I'm going to take the risk and take it for a little trial that way I can let you know. I know anytime I see something that's hand wash only it usually prevents me from purchasing it because I'm just not going to take the time to hand wash things. I will just look to buy something else. I am going to take the moonstone set through the wash air dry it. I'll do that a few times. That way, come the live launch party that's happening May 13th, two and a half hours early before lunch goes live at 1130 Eastern Standard Time. I will update you there on everything with how it washes and how it maintains, but in particular with that Moonstone set, because I know a bunch of you are eyeing it, but definitely don't want to be bothered hand washing it. So I will give you the honest truth on how that pans out after a few delicate cycles. Again, just a quick reminder, if you appreciate the content, the review videos, the live launch parties, the Discord, the giveaways, all the things that the Corey family does for my Corey crew, then be sure to use code Kara when you check out that'll save you 10% off and I like to mention because if you go back in and update your cart sometimes it will pop the code out just to make sure you get that 10% off double check everything before you hit checkout and with the giveaway all you have to do is screenshot your order just showing me that you used my code in addition I do have a link that's buffbunny.com backslash Kara so if for some reason you have a greater discount then 10% due to whatever reason, you can always use my link and that will still support me when you shop. I just want to mention one more time, be sure you join the live launch party if you are available to two and a half hours before launch goes live. I'm going to have so many updates for you. I have a full two weeks to keep reviewing these pieces. I put them through some workouts and I already have some different thoughts on things than maybe what you already heard here. So the live launch party is going to be the best place for you to get all the updates, all the need to know information to help you shop the launch with ease. Friends, I hope I have given you all the Malibu Barbie vibes from this review. I had so much fun reviewing this collection. Some things were misses for me and made me sad, but I had a lot of hits here too with this collection. I'm gonna keep wearing everything a ton over these next couple weeks. Up until May 13th, I will be here two and a half hours early for the live launch party, so I really hope you can join me there. I will have tons of updated thoughts, opinions. We will have pricing. I will be going rapid fire style Q&A, getting all your questions answered, helping you shop the launch, and giving out a ton of gift cards during that process. If you enjoy my reviews, if you appreciate all the work that Jason and I put into the reviews and all the content, then using support code Kara when you check out really does help support me continuing to grow with this brand and it gets you that 10% off discount and you will be entered into my giveaway and you, yes, yes you, you could win $1,000. I'm choosing one of you to win $1,000 this time. So that's gonna be it for me, friends. I will see you at the live launch party.